Welcome to the quick tip. In this quick tip, we're going to be talking about the APM power module. Now the power module is something that connects into your battery, the other side of which connects then into some kind of power distribution board in your multi-copter that then takes that main primary battery voltage around to the ESC so you can fly. This little bit of technology sits in between the battery and that power system and not only sends the plus five volts and ground needed to power the APM itself, but also cleverly sends information about the voltage of the battery, but also the current that's being pulled by the craft to the APM so that you can get that over the telemetry link or even show it on things like the um, Mavlink Minim OSD displays. Now, this it has been put together because one of my subscribers, a gentleman called John Carr, has been struggling a little bit with this, and I think it's a great opportunity for me to clear up some of the confusion and to potentially stop other people getting caught out in the same way. So thank you, John. This one's for you. It's going to be useful for me to put the information up in a nice graphical form to illustrate the point. I think it's important to mention here that the APM 2.5, 2.6 and 2.7 information wasn't as easy to find as that for the APM Mini 3.1. First of all, we'll look at our friend the APM 2.5, 2.6 or 2.7. Here's a picture of one of mine. This is one of my APM 2.6s and the power module port is in the lower left hand side. It has six pins on it and those six pins on an APM 2.x chassis is the outside pins are negative, which if you look around, looking at the inputs, the outputs, and the analog bits and pieces on the top as well, you'll notice that the negative pins are always to the outside. So the bottom two are negative, then it's voltage, then current, and the top two pins are plus five volts, and they connect to the plus five volt rails that go around the inside of the board. And if you want to know more about that, we cover that in my APM 2.5, 2.6, and 2.7 series gets a little bit more interesting when you look at the APM 3.1. So here is a schematic of an APM Mini 3.1 and the power module that's part of that board. And as you can see, it's already different. The ground is now at the top, the plus five volts are now in the middle, and the current and voltage sensors are at the bottom. So just to clarify everything, let's put these things side by side. And now you can see that the ground and plus five volts and also the sensing lines are in a completely different place depending on whether you're running an APM Mini or whether you're running an APM 2.5, 2.6 or 2.7. And this is where the problem comes because you need to make sure when you're ordering the power module that you order the power module that's made for the specific version of APM, i.e. 3.1 or 2.x that you are using. If you order an APM 3.1 power module and then clip the ends off it and then put another connector on the end to plug it into an APM 2.6, it won't work very well and you'll be getting yourself into trouble. So, word of warning, always make sure that you are using the right power module for the right version of APM and if you're in doubt, plug the power module into a battery, get a voltmeter out and just test the outputs on each of the pins to make sure that the plus five volts are where they should be, the ground is where they should be and then you'll know that the voltage and current sensors should be in the right place too. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe and happy flying.